this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use OAS Web HMI with your WordPress site. You will need to have a WordPress website and the ability to install a free plugin on it in order to complete this tutorial. Depending on your plan with WordPress or your user restrictions, you may or may not be able to do this. You will also need to have the OAS service running and a license for OAS Web HMI. Let's get started. I have set WordPress up on my local machine and also have the OAS service running on my local machine. The first thing we are going to do is create a folder for some script files on the WordPress site. I'm going to call my folder JS for JavaScript. You can call yours whatever you'd like, but make sure you reference it properly later. If you already have the JS folder, then you can just add the new files there. The root of my website is c colon backslash mamp backslash htdocs because I am running my site on a mamp server. Yours may be different. So I will create a new folder here and call it JS. OAS installs with the script files you need. On my machine, they have been installed here. The files that I am going to copy are the opclibmin.js and the lib folder. I will paste them into my JS folder. The opclibmin.js file is the OAS Web HMI script library. The lib folder contains the jQuery library. It is version 1.8.3. If your site already references a newer version of jQuery, you may use that instead. The other files that are in the lib folder are not used in this demo and you may delete them if you wish or just leave them. Either is fine. Next, we are going to add a plugin to our WordPress site so that we can add header and footer scripts. Let's go to the WordPress dashboard. Then from the left menu, choose plugins, add new. In the keyword search box, enter header and footer scripts. When you see the plugin, click install, and then once it is installed, click activate. Then from the left menu, choose pages, add new. I will call this new page, my web HMI. At the bottom of the page, you can see there is a new area that says insert script to head. In here, we will add references to the files we just added. Here is what you need to add. The first is the reference to the jQuery library. Second is the link to the OPC libmin. If you put yours in a different location, please be sure to change the source to reflect that. The next thing you will need is the OPC config script block. It has a security token in it that keeps session for the OAS Web HMI. It also has the URL for the OAS service you are pointing to. Both my WordPress site and my OAS service are on my local machine. So I am going to leave mine as localhost and then 58725 is the port I have OAS set up to run on. You will need to point this to the location you have your OAS service running on. Please note that if your WordPress site is not on your local machine, but your OAS service is, you will need to have your service tied to a publicly accessible IP address or domain name. I am just going to paste all of that in and click Save Draft to save our work. Next, let's add some HMI. Click the plus sign to add a block. You will need to choose Custom HTML. I'm going to put a div tag in here and display the sign value from the OAS service. You must have an ID for the div. It can be whatever you want. I'll call mine my div. Next, I will add the OAS attribute to it for text. It is opc-tag-txt. The value for this is in JSON format. The name is tag. And then the value will be sign.value because we want to display the value of our sign tag. Please note it is case sensitive. There are two articles in our knowledge base that you can reference to help you write your own. The URL for the OAS knowledge base is www.openautomationsoftware.com slash knowledge dash base. The first article can be found under Programmatic Interface, Web UI Programming, Web HMI Reference, Marking Up HTML Elements. 
The second is a little below that one, HTML attribute reference. Now let's hit preview and see the results. There it is. I am now displaying the sign value from my OAS service in my WordPress site. I will open up the OAS configuration app and we can see that the value on the screen is updating along with the service. Next, I would like to show you another tool available with OAS Web HMI, the Web HMI Wizard. The URL for it is www.opcweb.com wizard. The Web HMI Wizard is a tool to help developers create a Web HMI interface. You can find more information about it in our knowledge base. And there is also a great video on it here on our videos page under Web Visualization Tools called Web HMI Wizard. Once again, I will use the OPC tag text attribute and our sign value. You can see here as I entered sign.value into the tag box, it created code over here in the HTML element window. And then down here in the live demo window, you can see the sign value update. In this box here, string, I can add code to format the sign value as a string. I will enter my sign value is curly bracket, zero curly bracket. The zero will be replaced with the value of our sign tag. The sign value is a double float. Let's use the float formatting field to round it to two decimal places. We can see the results. Now let's take that code and paste it into our WordPress site. Hit preview and we can see how easy that was. Finally, I would like to show you a couple of tricks to make it easier to have Web HMI on all of the pages in your WordPress site. I'll cut the script block out of the header script for the OPC config. Then I will open up Notepad and paste it in there. I'm going to save this into the JS folder I created at the root of my WordPress site as config.js. You can call it whatever you choose. Now let's update the header script to reference that file. Then let's cut this whole section out and update the page to save our changes. Now let's open up the WordPress menu and go to settings, header and footer scripts. Then I will paste the code into the header box here and click save settings. By doing this, I now have the script files and the OPC config referenced on all of the pages in my WordPress site, so I can put HMI anywhere on my site. For more information on open automation software, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.